Well, Family Fun Day has been a staple in the Rock Island community going on for three decades. Joe Habersham joins us in studio tonight to tell us more about what's replacing this event. Hey, Joe. Hey, Shelby. Day one of the first ever Soul of the City is in the books. The community event is intended to promote local businesses and connect the different cultures from across the Quad Cities. The Martin Luther King Center is combining its family fun day with the Polyrhythms Bill Bell Jazz Fest, giving us Soul of the City. The MLK Center hosted its annual Family Fun Day for over 35 years. Jerry Jones has served as the executive director for a number of years and says the opportunity to expand the event was too good to pass up. We've known each other, these groups, very well for over the many years, and the concept of bringing something together just seemed like a no-brainer. We could do a lot better together than we can do separately. We're all coming out for a good purpose to hear some good music. <laughs> For the MLK Center, bringing the different communities together and helping neighbors better understand each other is what the soul of the city is all about. Once you're with somebody face to face, person to person, it's a much different community and that's what this is about. Our community within the Rock Island area, within the Rock Island County region is very diverse and the opportunity to draw different people together for a better understanding of each other brings better unity and cohesion. With live music on hand, the Polyrhythms have the chance to perform in front of younger generations, introducing kids to the magic of live music. We like to get uh, young people more involved into uh, music, uh, live music, opposed to uh, some of the things that they listen to over the air. The two groups have done well on their own, but under their new partnership, the MLK Center and the Polyrhythms are hoping to unite over 5,000 people. It's a lot of work, but man, when these days happen, it's really cool. Soul of the City continues through the weekend with a 10 a.m. parade opening tomorrow's celebration. Now this is free to attend and you can find the schedule on our website at wqad.com under the As Seen on TV tab. Shelby? Thanks Joe.